everyone, this is Anne from Odulcina Scrap. I am back today again using my new new digital set, the Swatches Simple Tops. So, as I told you in the last video playing with that kit, this uh, next video is playing with bags. So, we can create tops like that for as a closure for a bag. We can create some removable tops. So I I hold the bag and the top with a paper clip, and then my top is has some laces attached to it. So you just quickly put it back on the bag and with a paper clip that you can add a little yarn or sari silk you do the closure holds well you can just have it as simple as that with a paper clip as well you can have just a closure for the bag like this it's glued on the bag so the bag remains open you can add and remove stuff as you want we can also add more laces for this example i just glued the the top like that but it could be a little bit different this one is a big bag so i attached some laces and i did a little hole and did like a little embellishment with with an applique and some yarns and some tool so it is endless we could we could use the same idea for an envelope. So if I'm taking this one, for example, I could put the top there and just use a paper clip to close it. And here you go, we have a cute envelope decorated and we can open it as we want. So this is what I'm going to do today. I want to show you as well how to do a cute little paper clip like that with fabric. It literally took me a minute to do that. And we can use it, let's say, for a closure. So if we have something in the bag, we fold the bag, we put a large top, swatch top, and then we can use the paper clip to hold everything together like that. So why I came up with the idea of a paper clip like that is that I have a couple of paper clips that are like plastic covered. So I cannot make them grungy and rusted like these ones. And the other thing with the rusty one is that sometimes I just don't feel for stains, you know, because every time you kind of put it back, it adds a little bit of stain from the rust. So if you feel like keeping this really clean, you might want to use those ones that are not rusty, but then they're not really cute. So you cover them like this. So I'll start with doing the paper clip because after doing a couple of paper clips, I'm gonna show you how to attach uh, some laces to your swatches top. And then we're gonna do a couple of bags together just to play with that. To do a paper clip, I used my leftover you know when I print those labels on fabric in between the labels I have stripes of of fabric that I always keep but you can take any fabric and you just tear down following the thread and then so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my paper clip on it it's the same idea then with um with paper and using some hot glue because it is faster you could use any kind of glue but this one I'm gonna be able to complete it within minutes 
it dries so fast. And when I'm done with gluing them together, I'm gonna do a little cut here and scratch. There you go, we have the base. You can do them longer if you wish, it's really up to you. So now let's play with that. If you don't like here at the bottom that it's not frayed like the other sides, you could, I guess, add another layer there. But the idea is that I'm going to hide that. So let me go simple with a little piece of uh, lace that I'm going to tear on every side. Cut a little bit. Maybe I'm too much focused. Cut a little bit, make it really like kind of damaged. All right, I'm keep I'm cutting the excess. What a mess. Okay, I have to remember this is my top. So I can place that like that. Maybe I can go with a little bit of tool too. A little bit of tool that I'm just cutting not straight like that. So maybe like this, like that, and let me see what else I have on my table. I really go with whatever I have on my table. I have this, I have a little piece of that. And even I have a little piece of that. So I'm going to start gluing them together. And whatever I do, it will look great. <laughs> this is what I've learned so far. Everything you kind of glue. This. too much tone on tone here. Okay. What about this? Let's do another one. Maybe a little bit smaller. I'll take a smaller paper clip. All right, you put it in the center. Then you fold. You can make it more square. That is my front. Let's go back with some polka dot. I can't get enough of polka dot, that's for sure. Okay, like that. Polka dot like that. What about this? I'm just cutting 
here and there. I don't know what I'm doing. It's I just want to make it look vintage, like if it has been damaged over time. So I'm cutting little parts of it and then I'm tearing on it. I can put that there. Maybe this time I can bring that one back here, like a little piece of cotton. Okay, this looks good. I'm going to I'm going to glue that first. And they don't need to be glued everywhere as long as they are glued somewhere and that they hold at one place. That should be fine. What about maybe a little knot like that here? We have another one. Simple, eh? And now I want to show you on a bag what it would look like. So let me take this one and I'll just grab any. Let's say we fold that because we want to put little chocolate in that one. So I'm going to pick the one for La Fabrique de Chocolat, which is like a chocolate factory. <laughs> and then I can use the paper clip literally on top. On top like that. Like it's hiding a little bit what's behind. But if we want, we can as well use it on the side a little bit like that on the side and it would hold as well so let's use another one let's use a bigger one i would fold but these paper clips are good for anything I will go for a big like that, that has just some writing on, on one side. So at the back, we're going to have this written down and at the front, we can decorate it fully. So let me, let me just do one quickly. While I'm playing with that set, the ideas are coming faster than I can do them <laughs> it's literally so versatile you can do junk journals with that you can use them on covers for junk journals you know on the side for the signature so you fold them like that in the middle and I'm gonna ink them You ink the middle too. All right, so I can place it like that at the front and put a little paper clip like this. Or I could place it here because we would see magic. Or what I thought is that you can Flip it, that would be the back. And at the front, you would just use a paper clip. You can as well add something. So let's say, so let's say I can add a little piece of paper music sheet like that, and I can just glue that. And just glue it and even I can add little flowers 
Okay, let's say I have a little scrap here. I'm going to make the four sides. I'm going to ink it a little bit, just lightly. Just so it has a contrast on the edges. And then I can add it there. Or even I could add it to give it some dimension at the bottom here like this yeah I can I can glue it inside adding some glue like that and I'm gonna glue it like that so I'm making my swatches top bigger and then if I take my paper clip, I'm going to put my paper clip like that. So you have the bag and at the back, you still have something cute. This is my favorite way to work with those tops on bags because you can easily remove them. You can easily use them later on on a page. Like, let's say I take a journal. So let's say this is a, a page of a journal. I can then glue it there as well. And it's kind of a tab. And at the back, it would look like that. So it's not wasted at all. And even for that, I can add a little charm. So this is my paper clip. I can even add a little charm on the paper clip. So let me show you that. I'm gonna use my crocodile dial and make a hole somewhere not touching the paper clip. Like this. And now I'm gonna put a little bulb pin okay so I brought back a couple of little charm that I rusted without too much of salt and they're kind of grayish which I love and uh, I'm going to put it like this. So it can fall like that. It's uh, gardening stuff. I guess I should put that little... Uh, I can put those together. And then to hide... To hide the top, I can put a little bit of chiffon silk. Or tool. Well, actually, I can put chiffon silk and tool, let's say. So I'm going to take... A scrap from here and I'll just remove that edge here that I don't like and even if it's a good big piece that should be all right it's gonna make a little bulky decoration which we love And I hold that with just a knot here, like that. Cutting that, cutting that a little bit. Here we go. And now if I attach it here on my paper bag, we kind of have a whole set here. With 
Isn't it cute? Look at that. <laughs> I love that. Let's say I put seeds in it as a gift for a gardener. Someone who loves flowers or do the garden. Here you go. So cute. So, so cute. What about to, I can just glue it on the side of, you look at that, on the side of my bag, <clears throat> leaving the top not glued. So it's gonna be kind of a top spot here, but it's gonna hold here. So let's say I'm gonna use, to put little, oh, so here the lounge. It's the angel smile. So let me play with that. This idea that I had. As I told you, it's endless. More that I play with, more that I have ideas. So I want to put it high enough so it covers a little bit the, the top that I folded of the bag. But at the front, I don't want to glue it till the top. So maybe I, I should stop here. So maybe like this. And I'll glue it like that. Now I can still open the bag. I can still go inside the bag totally. And when I close my bag, I can still Fold it behind the swatch top and it's holding the bag. I can even glue something here. Let's say, do I want, I have this kind of bow here. No, that would be better with just a little piece of um, I cannot complain, but my husband decided to pass the vacuum and it was too noisy. So instead of stopping to do my project, I decided I would just cut the sound and do a voiceover. So what I did is I just found that cute kind of lace ribbon and just did a little uh, deco with them just so we have something. but. You know how it works. Everything works, kind of. So, the idea is just to have like uh, that swatch top on the side that allows you to do kind of a thug spot for the cover of the of the bag. So it kind of acts like a closure. And I'll complete this video when, with the last project, which is to glue some lace on the swatch top. And it makes it really well decorated. This is, I think, my favorite way to decorate those swatches tops to mix with bags because they have lace and they are less like kind of a square rectangular they have more dimension than just a paper to start we need to glue either fabric or laces inside of the swatch top and a portion of it on the swatch top so it doesn't look like it's all coming from under the paper so i'm trying to just figure out what i want briefly but that little cotton that has a design on it with that cute lace should be kind of sufficient. And I think I'm gonna add this little piece of lace. This is really a vintage lace there, and uh, but it's too perfect. So again, I need to damage it a little bit. This, this makes the whole difference, right? When you don't see a clean cut from the scissors, it's, it really makes the shabby chic vintage antique style. All right, so we're ready to glue. I could use any other kind of glue. I really do like the odd glue those days. 
So uh, it's my go-to glue for now. But the other glues are still existing and they're still good. Okay, so um, you glue it well everywhere so it doesn't really flap because don't forget this uh, swatch top I'm gonna uh, clip it on a bag so I'm gonna put it put it and remove it so we need it to be well glued for it to work then I can put my lace on top for um, a really thin lace like that I prefer the art glitter glue that's for sure because I can I, I just put a small amount and it glues well and I don't need the big odd glue. So these are my two glue <laughs> that I, I go to. So that's pretty much all you, you need to know because just watching the video will show you what I've done for the remaining. I'm just uh, adding this uh, little piece of a doily that I had and uh, I'm gonna add the paper clip as kind of a closure on my bag. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this video and I hope it inspires some of you. This is, uh, I understand it is a really simple project um, but even if you're not a beginner, sometimes we, we just don't think about those. Or even if we know that we can do that, it's, it's a good reminder. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you've learned something. And um, I'll keep going on with other projects. See you in the next video. And God bless you. Bye-bye.